what's up guys so i actually was going through some of my youtube comments and this person asked about the m30 dollar amazon shoes let's see a review as to having them for so many months so let's check it out i actually forgot to even come back and follow up on these so last year i ended up purchasing probably like 130 dollars worth of uh Amazon running shoes. I wanted something comfortable, durable, that I could wear, that don't cost a lot, that look pretty cool at the same time. Let's take a look. Here is well, a blue pair that I picked up. This is like a, a dark teal. Uh, this is a size 11. Picked it up from Amazon. This was roughly around 30 or $35 at the time. Uh, I've worn these quite a bit, but I mean, they hold up pretty well. Got a little bit of crash there on the bottom. Nice material here. It's sort of like a mesh or like a, a mesh cloth material almost. Uh, has like a little strap sort of thing going across the side. Also, I picked up a new camera since I made that last video and I looked at the last video and it was so, just so terrible. Just the quality. I think even the audio was terrible. I had like music going on in the background. It was so annoying. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing these quite a bit. Um, I switch them up quite a bit. So that's, that's why that's the reason I got so many different ones. Switch them up quite a bit, and I got a little bit of dust here on, in the in, uh, side of the insole here. Probably can't see it, but yeah. So far, these hold up pretty well. Uh, let's check out my red ones. Let's see how long it's been. So it looks like I posted both of these videos about eight months ago. These are my red ones here. These look super long on camera. <laughs> like they just like they last forever. Uh, one thing I probably will say is with these ones here, for some reason, the bottom after so, cause it's the type of rubber that is made from after walking and running on it so much, I believe it will eventually kind of wear off. This will wear down. Um, it hasn't yet, but just the way it looks, I think it will. Like this is going to probably wear down just from the type of, it's really, really grippy, uh, but kind of gritty at the same time. And with you, if you're running on pavement, concrete, or something like that, uh, this could possibly wear down. At least that's what, at least that's how I look at it. Kind of dirty on the bottom for me walking around. Uh, but overall, man, the shoes are super comfortable. Uh, it's a very snug fit. And some of these shoes differ. I don't know if they're different manufacturers, but some of them differ with how snug they fit. Like with these red ones, these are a very slim fitting shoe. But these blue ones here are much bulkier. I'm not sure if you can even tell the difference with them just sitting on the table. Yeah, you can look at the difference. It's, a, it's the same size, it's just like a much smaller build. Yeah, so on the inside here, there's a tag here that says 45 on the inside. That's the shoe size. And this one says the exact same thing. 45 but for some odd reason just the way that it's built is just a much bigger and bulkier looking shoe just side by side you can see that difference the yellow one is built the same way as the blue one like a bigger more of a bulkier build and the black ones i mean the red ones are much smaller and slimmer sort of build so i'm not sure but they all look fairly much the same getting into these shoes the red ones take a little bit more effort uh but once it fits it's very comfortable for me these i can kind of get in a little easier but they're a, it's a bulkier shoe especially if you got on a bright yellow shoe these ones are so cool i love wearing these man they're so comfortable uh very bright and ca eye catching so i can you know feel pretty confident when i'm wearing I'm we whenever i'm wearing these uh, bottom of these aren't too bad but this is the one where you can see the rubber starting to wear so let's see here right here you can see like that rubber starting to wear a little bit there uh you can see it kind of wearing down a little bit here right in here and just the way that this is made is you can tell that it's going to break down quickly now the material i can see a slight difference in the material that this is made from 
So with the red one, it's a bit sturdier and less gritty as the black. That's one thing I will say. This is a bit sturdier. This may last a bit longer than these would. Same material on the bottom of these as well. Sort of like that gritty black material. And it's just, you know, you can tell that with wearing it and wearing it so long, luckily I've been able to swap these out and switch them out and kind of wear different ones every here and there. Uh, but it will wear down, you know, depending on how busy you are, how much, how much you run around. I run around quite a bit, but these still have managed to last at least, you know, until now. And I still got a few more months of wear and tear out of these, but we'll see. We'll see how long these last. So those are uh, the red, the yellow, and the blue. These are the black and whites. Now these have gotten the most wear and tear out of all of them that I've been wearing. These are the ones that I've wear the most. And you can really, really see that. Look at that. It's really bad. That material, that gritty sort of rubber material, uh, I'm not sure what that is, but it is terrible. You know, I run a lot. I, I'm playing basketball. I'm exercising. I'm ripping running throughout the day. So you need a shoe that is going to be able to withstand that. And these, as good as they look, they're comfortable and that's great but you can you can see it just from this angle how that's been beat up and just chewed on um so it's it's a it's a you get what you pay for kind of thing and just hopefully that you get a shoe that isn't made with this particular uh really cheap bottom material on here that's just really bad the other shoe isn't as bad. It's wearing down really bad over here. Uh, but on the tip, it's not as bad as the other one. And again, like that mesh, that mesh sort of rip material. Everything is solid up here. Everything is solid. Nothing ripping up here. Uh, this will probably wear down eventually and then eventually separate. But I thought it would probably separate right here where the glue line hits. Hits with that sole. I thought I would probably run into issues there, but... Other than that, not really. Got a lot of dust in here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, having all these different grooves, so much dust can accumulate in there from running and, and you know jogging and stuff like that. That does get annoying. So look out for that if you do plan on picking these up. Like I said, it's been eight months for me. I wear these nearly every day, um, and I've this is the wear and tear that I've gotten from them so far. But yeah, hopefully they can make these and redo them in a better material. I'll probably email the company and let them know like, hey, uh, get rid of that. Do something different down there so that these shoes can last. Because for, for the style, for the color scheme, for the material and the comfort is dope for the price point. You just got to make something that will have a better longevity on the sole. These right here. I love these. These are so so nice they're so dirty though because i wear these so much they comfortable slide in and out of them really easy look good i usually wear these in the summertime with some gray sweatpants white t-shirt just chilling this is a very light and mint green shoe um just beautiful i like these super comfortable um the bottom just terrible <laughs> Uh, it was a white bottom and I just been I was wearing these a lot. These are probably neck and neck with those black shoes. But I don't um, I don't have any issues so far as anything wearing off or wearing down on, on the sole. Uh, no separation or anything like that between the contact with the midsole and the bottom sole here. Um, it's just the fact that it's such a light colored material. It gets dirty really easily. What I might do is take a, a toothbrush, some bleach, and kind of go in there and uh, see if I can clean it up a bit and restore some stuff, get some shoestrings out, wash those. I might see if I can find some aglets, some white aglets to put on the end of these and kind of style it up a little bit. I found like a little shoelace site that I've been kind of checking out and uh, they got some pretty cool stuff. Matter of fact, this is the, these are the laces that I found. I found like some black laces and uh some red aglets and then i found like a, a white black and white splattered lace lock that looked pretty cool i thought that was really nice and um it's like a flat 
shoe shoelace and everything. I end up making like a little bracelet out of this, and I just end up making a making a little bracelet out of it. But yeah, these are the like the like I said the light mint green ones that I had. Very nice size 11. Didn't take long for shipment. Actually, it took maybe a week and or two at the latest. Wasn't that bad for all the shoes that I picked up, especially for at that price. I'll go through and do some digging around if so I can find the links where you can find these shoes. I may have them on my storefront for Amazon, but I'll double check and I'll drop that link in the description. That is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. I was up and down the highway trying to do it my way. To put a circle in the square, I tried to move it sideways. I do not want to do it my way, trying to do it your way. I do not want to do it my way, trying to do it your way. Oh. Since your first album dropped, you done got some fame up. So she in my line, she say, boy, you done changed up. It ain't that I changed, it's that I done stepped my game up. What's the point of living right if we do it?